Welcome back to Nightline. We've had a wonderful hour. Um, just we've gone through some great testimonies and some good singing. But uh, this is ladies night, y'all. Say yay! Yeah. 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 A and vision in every woman. A vision in every woman. Mm -hmm. We we know the world has uh, the view, but we have a view. A vision in every woman. Mm -hmm. And I am Mary Sloan, your your host here tonight, and I have my sister with me, Narvis yeah. Hart, co-hosting. She's sitting in for my daughter Tony, who is in the Dominican Republic. And Tony, if you're watching, you said earlier you were watching. So, hey, we're all over the world, aren't we? You That's can get right. us on Facebook, That's YouTube, right. or the website, or however. But uh, we're here for you, and uh, we're here to be a blessing to you. We're here to win souls. That's, that's right. a start. You know, yes. that is the yes. utmost yes. start. And that's yes. where we need to start because that's your beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, then from then on, we start to get prayer requests. We start to get uh, uh, praise reports, you know. And we just love them. So call in. Let us know what you have a need for. And we've had a salvation tonight. And they can call the station and get this little book called First Steps. Right. right. So do that. Um, and Mary, Mary, before we go on, don't you have something here about us? Uh, coming up this Friday or, or uh, did Saturday, I have that? Or Saturday. this Saturday. I yeah. Mean. They have the um, prayer service. Prayer service. Every, right. the first, I think the first Saturday in each month is February the 3rd. Right. That they'll be having that this week. And so come out and be with them. If yeah. you have a need, come out and let them lay hands on you and yeah. and uh, be healed. Tonight, Mary, our scripture is uh, first. Corinthians 13, 4 through 7 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, Love suffer, suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Mm -hmm. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest one is love. Love. Yes. And, you know, if we live just by these scriptures, Mary, boy, <laughs> now, that we would be some good people. Nobody would be we? fussing, would they? <laughs> <laughs> We'd be in great harmony, that's wouldn't we? That's right. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's yes. been our topic tonight is love. And I don't know if you saw the first hour, but we had our little cue cards of love and what they all meant, the O and the V and the E. Yes. And just amazing what it all, you know, was about. Yes. Tell them about what, who's going to be singing tonight. Cleve Mills is going to sing now, Hope in the Front of Me.
Oh, please. <laughs> that was beautiful. I looked at Narvis. I said, I'd just like to take him home with me, and I forgot they are going home with me tonight. <laughs> So anyway, he's, oh, he's just a doll, I'm yes, telling you. Yes, he is. Well, we've got Christy, his mother, is here with us tonight, Christy Howell Mills. And I met her, well, I've known her for years, but we were just talking about we lived in Nashville at the same time together. And mm -hmm. we didn't think it was too long ago, but Christy said it's been 20 years, 18, 18 years, years, 18 yeah. years since she was there. And it's been 13 since I was there. So. Time has flown oh, by sure somewhere, has. hasn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> but we are so glad to have Christy with us here tonight. And um, Christy, um, I know that um, you've had a lot of healings in your life. Yes, ma'am. But first, I want to know how you came to know Jesus. Oh, wow. Well, I got saved when I was five years old at a liver and trip <laughs> service at my dad's church. Um, their family's always been really close to us. Uh -huh. and mm -hmm. Actually, Vern's brother, Terry, was my dad's very best friend, and um, I was very close to them. But I say when I was five, and I, you know, grew, grown up in the church, and, and I'm a third-generation Pentecostal holiness preacher. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, um, that's when I got saved. Now, we all go through things in life where we, we have to question some, why do I believe what I believe? Is it because mm -hmm. it was slapped up against my head or is it for, is it for real? Yeah. And I believe, that, right. <laughs> I right. believe that God sends us on a journey so that we can find who He is yes. on our own. Mm -hmm. And yes. that's where I've been. That sounds like yeah. a song, Christy. <laughs> I did write one called oh. All About a Journey. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, we're, we're all trying to find who He is for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Not my yes. parents, not my grandparents. That's, so. right. That's right. Well, I know you've had many miracles yes, of, of healing in your life, and your journey has been one of, of faith in God. You've always been, believe. I remember even through tea parties mm -hmm. that you had. I mean, mm -hmm. you just brought out such special word uh, from God. Share with our viewers how God's brought you through it all. Wow. I was... Um, Years and years and years ago, I was told I was going to be a woman of faith. That was so encouraging. But then mm -hmm. I didn't know what it really meant. It meant that I was right. literally going to have to stand and believe God mm -hmm. when nobody else did. Right. And see the things that I could see in the spirit that nobody else could see mm -hmm. so I could see him carry me through. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, everybody likes, everybody wants to be, have these titles, you know, she's a, she's a woman of faith and she's right. that, but there's so much into yes. that. That means that when you go through the waters, he'll be with you. And when you pass yes. through the rivers, they will not mm -hmm. sweep over you. Mm -hmm. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Yes. The flames will not set you ablaze. Right. That means right. that no matter what comes your way, whether it's cancer or whether it's broken hearts or rejection or, what, or, or whether it took you 36 years to get married or whatever <laughs> it was, <laughs> that you stand in faith and you know that you know mm -hmm. yes. that he's yes. got you and he's going to take you through. And, um, I just didn't know I was going to have to wake up every day with this armor to fight like I've had to fight. But I'm so thankful that I learned at a young age that it works. Amen. Yes. It works. How did you respond to all that going through all that? And You know, I love to just say, uh, this is only a test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they come on TV, this is just a test. You know, yeah. That's what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. it is. Just a test. Are you going to pass the test? Right. Well, you know, right. it's not what happens to you, but it's how you respond oh, to amen. it. Man, that's we're all going to have tests. We're mm -hmm. all going to have things, and we're all going to... We have to understand that what is happening to us is what God can get through us to help somebody right. else. It's not yeah. really about you. Wow. Well, right. It feels like it is when you're at the oncology office. And that's what makes us so mm -hmm. strong, getting right. it. It feels like it's about things. you when you're being attacked all the time from left to right, but nothing mm -hmm. is about us. It's about what he wants to do through right. us. That's right. right. And that's what he's trying to get. It's like to say, hey, you know what? I've got something. If you can just make it through this, if you can yes. learn how to worship your way through, if you can mm -hmm. learn how to praise your way through. Yes. And there have been so many times the enemy's tried to mm -hmm. silence me, taking my voice in so many different ways. But I'm here to tell you tonight that he cannot stop my praise. That's Amen. Right. He that's can't right. stop my worship because I understand that that's what gets me there. That's what takes me That's through. Right. That's Amen. right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, I love the song. When I look back and see where he brought me from, it's a mighty long way from where mm -hmm. I used to be. I tell you, I love that. And I know that's what you probably right. thought a many a time after you'd yeah. gone through all this. Tell and us a little bit all, about yeah. that. Well, you know, I was just thinking, um, I've been, actually, I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. I've been going through some discouragement lately. And I woke up the other morning, 
And I, the Lord just spoke to me. He said, I did not heal you from cancer six years ago and, st- and leave you where you are and not have a purpose. Amen. You are not still here um, without a purpose and without something mm-hmm. that's inside of you, just like you were talking about earlier, yeah. something that's inside of you that somebody else yes. needs. I pour into my child, my little boy. I pour into everybody that I can mm-hmm. get. It's all about pouring into other people. Yes. And so when I, when I get discouraged, I try so hard to just say, okay, God, whatever, and, and just and speak the scriptures and, yes. and walk in faith. And sometimes we have to call somebody and say, can you hold my hands up? Right. Because yes. I've had a little bit more, I've had to have more faith than I thought mm-hmm. I was going to have to have. And I need <laughs> yes. you to hold my hands right. up. Yes. And that's what I was talking about earlier about encouragement. Yes. It's so mm-hmm. hard. Sometimes we're scared to ask for help and we're scared to say, hey, you know what? I'm dealing with this and I need you to hold my hand through it. Mm-hmm. But I want to tell you, I've seen him through so do so many things. I've been healed of so yeah. many things. You don't have enough shows <laughs> to go through what I've seen the hand of God do in my yes. life. And I'm and I'm going through some things right now that he's carrying me through. And I just want to say that he's worth it. Yes. yes. He's yes. worth it. If he doesn't heal me of anything else and he doesn't do anything else for me, he's done more than he could ever uh-huh. than I could ever right. be grateful for. Wow. Yes. And I know there's purpose. Probably a lot of the viewers don't even know how you, the cancer, what, what did you About six it? years ago, I was going through this awful um, pains and just my voice was going away and I couldn't breathe. I felt like there was something laying on my chest and I couldn't sleep. Oh. And I went through 10 weeks of testing and, and, you know, they were sending me everywhere and taking tests and after, after, and this and that and the other. And finally, they did a PET scan on me. And they, you know, I love Christmas. I put up nine Christmas trees in my house. <laughs> and so, you know, there, there's a story here. But when I went in, I went in and they, they, um, they did decided to do a PET scan on me. And they called me the next day and they said, Miss Mills, we have really bad news for you. They said, your PET scan lit up like a Christmas tree all on the inside. It's around your heart and lungs. It's around your stomach, all around. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we're, you're going to have to have surgery you know, soon, but there's always, there's not soon enough. There's always mm-hmm. this hurry up and wait and all these things you go through. And, you know, I was devastated at first. The next morning, um, I was sitting in my recliner. That's, the recliners can be anointed, you yes. know. Yes. <laughs> Especially at 4.30 in the morning. I thought about that. They are. They're anointed. And I sat there and the Lord spoke to me. And that's where that song a while ago said, after this, he said, after this is that which I've promised you. Yes. If you can walk through this, mm-hmm. yes. you will get to that. Mm-hmm. And I yes. began to study, and I began to study Sacred Chronicles 20, and I began to just speak it over me. And you know, it amazes me when you're going through things like that. People disappear in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. they don't know what to say, and sometimes yeah. they just don't want to be right. around. And then people That's appear true. that you never imagine. But well, I began to speak on those things. You even uh, had an overdose of your son. Yes, uh, at my, my son's birthday. On uh, his fourth, the fourth birthday. And trust me, I was not trying to check out because I had just been married a few years and just got my precious baby boy, but I wasn't sleeping at night Mm -hmm. and um, I couldn't, I couldn't rest. And my husband's like, could you please give her something to make her sleep? Mm -hmm. And so um, they, they put me on these pills and they were already had me taking 12 steroids a day trying to help out. And they looked like the sleeping pills. And I took 12 of the sleeping pills and um, God carried me through that. Wow. I woke up to my husband was the fire chief at the time and him and these firemen were around me trying to get blood pressure and trying to help me. But God's mercy carried me through. Thank Praise you, God. Oh, so wow. here That's I am. Wonderful. Yeah. Now you got married, didn't you? I finally got <laughs> How old were you now? I was 36 what? years old. And I met him at a ladies conference. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for ladies conference. Yes. yes. I, was the, I was leading worship and the guest speaker and he was the sound man and people were picking on me about him. I said, he's not my type. I can tell in 10 minutes. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> and we got married. And here we are 10 and a half years later married. With a He's the cutest little thing. God. I'm he is. He's and a blessing. He's got a great personality. He's very he? gifted. He can do everything but sing. So I told him, like, <laughs> you, you just keep on, you know, doing everything else. And me and Cleve will take care of that part. You just God say, really don't sing, him. honey. Don't sing, no. <laughs> But he, he's got rhythm. That's, well, that's great. So you came through being healed of yes, the Yes, ma'am. I went in just like you did. Mm-hmm. 
And the Lord said, I told the Lord, I said, if, in, if you sing over me during the surgery, I will sing over you when I'm done. Yes. And I walked, I, I got in there and that mm -hmm. surgeon had already come in here. They had already given me the death thing. They'd already told me to get mm -hmm. everything ready. And I want to tell you, he mm -hmm. came into that recovery room and he said, I don't understand it, but the mm -hmm. cancer is Praise gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise and the I'm Lord. And I'm sitting here tonight to tell you that he still heals. Yes, yes. he does. And we don't yeah. always understand his timing. Yes. We don't always understand if it's here or if it's there. Yeah. But all we have to understand is that he has our story in the palm of his hand. That's yes, right. Yes. And he's writing every one of yes. our stories. Yes. He wants us to share. Yeah. Yes. Now, Debbie, I want you to finish telling us a little bit about what you were going to tell about your husband, too. We've got about three, two or three minutes here. Okay. Before we go to a song, you were going to share oh, a song yeah. with um, us. <laughs> he was, I, I told that he was in Grady Hospital. They had airlifted him there and, mm -hmm. and what God said he was going to live and not die. He was only in the hospital five days wow. after falling wow. 70 feet wow. upside down. Wow. And then wow. by my request, he was transferred to the Shepherd Center for rehab, and he was only there for two weeks. Wow. And he went into rehab at, on a stretcher, and he walked That's out. That's a miracle. Then walking, talking. He's not in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. He's got his right mind. It didn't break anything except six mm -hmm. ribs, and he never had no pain with them. Wow. And he was doing rehab oh, and moving goodness. even in those two weeks there. Wow. And no headache, you well, No, <laughs> he's never had a headache, never had a leg pain, when they, and a big gash of flesh came out of his leg and they just sewed that up. He wow. busted his head open. They sewed it up. He's never had a headache, leg pain. Wow. He's good. That is wonderful. Only God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise That's God. God. That's wonderful. Him. Hey, yes. guess what? We've had a winner for uh, your book, Daddy. Praise God. Daniel Owens won. Ooh, all right. Amen. Awesome. Daniel, Enjoy that book. We'll get that yes. out to you. And guess what? we got one more giveaway tonight. And this Christy's been singing all throughout the night. And uh, she says we can give away one of her CDs. So the first caller, we're going to give this away yeah. too. And I know you've enjoyed hearing Christy yes. here tonight. So get on the phone and call us. And yes. we're going to be praying in just a few minutes. So you want, if you've got a prayer request, you've got something you want us to agree about with you, you get your phone call in and we'll do it. We're going to go to Christy right now and she's going to be singing Put Me Together Again.
Thank you for that beautiful song, Christy. Yes. Wow. Christy's been a blessing to us tonight. Yes. And little Cleve, and Cleve, we're going to take him home with us. That's right. <laughs> That's going to be your boy, Mary. For tonight, isn't it? Tonight. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We've had some more people call. Hey, Rhonda's Chris. got her a special message here tonight. Uh -oh, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn said to tell Rhonda it's good to see you and that they yes. love you. Oh, yes. That's so sweet. Oh, oh, it's thanks. always so good to sweet. see you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Rhonda, you uh, you were going to share some things, uh, more okay. things about a book that you have also that we didn't get to discuss earlier. Tell us a little bit. What's the name of that book, Narvis, you were it's telling me? The Secret of His Glory. Okay. It's wow, the how story. many books have you written? I'm just trying to just write one. <laughs> but, I mean, they're pitiful, you know, <laughs> as far as, as, no, far as you, know, you know, just uh -huh. because I'm not a writer. I never, people wanted my notes, and I, that's uh -huh. all I, you know, I'm not a writer, but I'm learning, that's and I'm, I'm willing to learn. That's you got in there, though. Okay, yeah. tell us God's about that book. Uh, it's a story of the poinsettia, and I have no green thumbs. My mom and dad, they could t take a leaf and just grow it, and it produce mm -hmm. fruit. Mm -hmm. But um, the Lord told me to study the poinsettia. And I know nothing about it. So I go to the library and uh, Joel Robert Poinsett that lived in Charleston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he was very intelligent. His, his um, dad was a doctor and um, he, he did all kind of stuff for our country. And he was the first ambas ambassador to Mexico. And uh, he, while in Mexico, now he did not, he loved plants, and he did not let all that business get in the way of his passion. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. we got all this stuff, yeah. and our passion leaves sometimes. Right. And mm -hmm. so he, he saw the poinsettia. It was 10 feet tall. Wow. What? Yes, and so he had it sent back to the Carolinas. Wow. So it's, it's so neat. And what the coolest thing, one of the coolest things is, is um, that it is not a flower. It's a weed. Mm. Really? And it's changed Christmas forever around the world. Right. There's not a king's palace, a, a the White House, all of our houses, I mean, every place has poinsettias for Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because he did not lose his passion, hallelujah, Thank for a God. weed, Thank yeah. God. it changed <laughs> the whole world. Sometimes we feel like a weed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a flower, I'm just mm -hmm, a weed. Mm -hmm. But see, God can take a weed yes. and he can change the whole world. Yes, yes. So, Amen. Oh, my goodness. That's just awesome. a little bit. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> and her books are wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. Well, I'm just so, not, yes. I'm not, I'm not a writer. I'm She's not She's not going to brag on herself. <laughs> 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 and we have got a winner, a winner. Oh. Uh, well, where, that's for the book, though. Where was the other one? Oh, oh here it is. Okay. This is for the CD. Ruth Fuller, congratulations, Yay. Ruth. Thank you for calling. We're going to get that out to you this week. Um, and we got one more that's coming that Christy can talk about this one. And they want to know what the name of that instrument is that your young son is playing. The <laughs> cajon. Tell us a little a bit cajon. about the cajon. It's spelled Cajun, but it's cajon. It's it, just like a... Oh, it's spelled like Cajun. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's called like Cajun. Cajun food. But the, yeah, it's that J takes an H. It's, it's a Cajon. How long has he been playing that? About a year, a little over a year. Wow. Does he enjoy that? He loves that, and he loves his double set of drums as well. <laughs> now, you said he's learning to play the guitar, too, and The huh? guitar. He sings, and he acts. Wow. And wow. Keeps well. Mama really busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was he giving does. me pointers on the way here. So <laughs> Well, well, we've had God. more people to mm -hmm. call in here tonight for prayer request, and now uh, we're going to pray and agree for these needs. Thank yes. you for the yes. all these ladies that came yes. to Rhonda, mm -hmm. to uh, Debbie, and to Christy, and uh, yeah. Rhonda. How about you pray and okay. with us? Father, Amen. we just thank you for your thank anointing. You, yes, we thank Jesus. you for your spirit in this Hallelujah. place yes. tonight. Yes. And Father, yes, we just God. ask that every request be answered in the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Father, yes. we send the word to each yes. request yes. in yes. Jesus' yes. name right now. Yes. And we thank you, Father, that you're going to do it and you're going to show yourself yes, mighty 
in their behalf, yes. Father, and do a quick work, yes, Father, Lord. a quick yes. work yes. in the yes. name of the Jesus. Name and of we yes, give you Lord. all yes. the praise yes, and the glory for what you have done and what yes, you're going Jesus. to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.